guys, welcome back to our repair guys. In today's video guys, we'll be working here on the Fiesta MK7 generation 2018-2017 and we'll show you how to remove and replace uh, rear ABS sensor, the speed sensor. If it doesn't work, uh, we'll have a video how to diagnose if they work or they don't, but we'll show you in today's video how to remove and replace it. We'll be taking apart the whole car and we'll have more than 200 videos, so make sure to subscribe guys and let's go ahead and start on it now. So we have the car in park or in gear if it's standard so put it in gear uh, we're going to have okay the tire chokes here to put on the rear right side because we'll be working on the rear left side and we don't want the vehicle to roll on us uh, you can actually use two more on the phone just in case always be safe than sorry so uh, we're going to go ahead and jack it up now we will need to have a jack stand okay always use a jack stand uh, because if the jack fails, what happens? You run under the car, it fails, one little seal, o-ring fails, it drops on you and you're done. So, one, jack stand guys can save your wife and your car as well. Something else that we will do for extra safety, stay with us and we will show you in just a second. We'll have the links for all the tools that we use and all the parts in the description of the video below guys. Like that rapid pump racing jack, really cool deal and it's very affordable we really like it and we've been using it for more than three years and it works great okay so we have the jack stand there now so we're going to remove the lug nuts now okay this one got stuck a little bit there so we'll go ahead and remove all four of them i'm not gonna waste your time watching us removing those unless it's quick and uh, check out guys, we have a new channel, it's called Electrical Car Repair Life. Only live videos for electrical problems, fuses, things like that, really important information there. Only live videos, nothing edited, so you can see how we diagnose everything and how we do all that stuff. So let me show you where the sensor is. Okay, it's right here guys. You can see it has one board with 8mm socket. The connection is right there. So we'll need to disconnect it now, but in order to do that, we'll need to get a prying tool, okay, four clips to order, in order to disconnect it. A plastic one might not even do the work, so we'll see. Uh, we might have to try to get a, the metal one, because it, uh, those clips are really strong sometimes. But uh, first we're going to put the rubber there, so it can give us a little bit of slack, okay. So we have a little bit longer cable, we'll get the metal handle now okay and okay we pulled it out just like that now right here in the middle you have to press down okay and pull it out okay just like that we have one more rubber bushing there you have to gently pull it out careful not to break it one more on the side and the last from the back side uh, you can either do here okay you can use a wrench or you can use a socket with extension, okay, 8 millimeter socket with extension, and do it to the back. Okay, so let us show you how we are going to do it now. Okay, right there. And we are going to go ahead and remove the bolt now, all the way. Okay, it's almost loose, perfect. Now you grab the sensor and you pull it out, straight out. Don't twist them, sometimes you cannot twist them. Okay, and we can just feed it out of there. Okay, this is it guys. You can see this is the speed sensor, okay, right here on that forward face. I told you not to turn it because, okay, you can see the profile of that thing. Okay, how it is, so it doesn't let you turn it. So. You just put it back together in reverse order we took it apart. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe and many more videos to come.